Let's look at the unique function today. Unique is a way to put a list of data into a function and get back a version of that list with all duplicates removed. It works on one column or more columns and there are a couple ways to do it. So here we are in, this is one example. So you see we have our categories here and we have our unique formula from the master table database column B, B7 to B2584, which is gonna go past the last column there. So let's look right here, here it is. So as you see, it goes all the way, all the way to the bottom of the sheet where there's no more data. So what it's doing is it's taking every one of these category names, obviously you see things repeat, and it's giving me a unique list. So this list is 60 long, and this obviously is way longer, it's 1578 long. So that's how it works. So we can do this with the package column also from the other sheet, right? You start typing unique, you can see it gives you the hints. You give it the range first. And then there's some other factors that you can put in. You don't use these too often. So for the most part, you just have to worry about the unique function, but there you are, unique. I'll then click here. I'll click on the top one. I'll go arrow down, ship command arrow down, and one more time to the end, and press enter. And there we are, there's our unique again. And you can do it with two columns at the same time. So let's say we wanted from this sheet, we wanted unique pairs. So for example, this one right here, mechanical spring cans, we want this to come back once because we don't want the duplicate where this row is the same as this row. So you can do that with unique also. If you want to do it combined, you just do the same thing, the unique formula, and you just grab both columns. So there you go, command shift arrow down to the end, press enter, and now it did the same thing. And you see this one is 60, this one, is six and this one is 450 because you do have more than their two columns and that's how simple it is there's one more way to do these things you can highlight an entire column of the unique data and you can actually do data remove where is there it is remove duplicates so i have no header row selected so i won't select that and then i will just i already have it selected so i'll just click remove duplicates and there you go 1518 duplicate rows found and removed, 60 left. So I got 60 from here, 60. I got 60 from here. So it's just a check, but you can do it either way you want. And if I did, if I wanted to do it this way and then just end up without the formula there, because this is a dynamic formula. So if you change the other sheet, this sheet will change. And you may want that. If you don't though, you can always Command Shift arrow down, Command C, Command Shift V and now I pasted the value. So now this won't, won't be dynamic and this is just exactly the same as this other list. They're both just text and data. So that's how Unique works. It's a really valuable tool that I'm sure you'll use a lot.